Hey Encounter Kids, my name is Jasmine and I'm going to show you how to make a stop motion video. If you guys create one yourselves, I'd absolutely love to see it. Just a little bit of warning, the videos do take a little bit of time to create, but it is definitely worth it because they're so much fun to make and even to watch, I mean, yeah, even to watch with your family and friends and just share it with the people that you love wanting to make a stop motion creation but you don't have as much time all you'll need is some sticky notes and a pen and I'll show you what to do so with the sticky notes I find that it's best to start in the middle and to use just the bottom corner so that you can still use your sticky notes for other things once you've picked where you start just go ahead and add a little picture then what you need to do is bring down a new sticky note redraw the picture and add a detail then do it again and keep going until you think that your stop motion is complete once you've finished your stop motion what you need to do is grab your sticky note and flick through the sticky notes really fast and you'll see a little animation now onto the stop motion video what you will need is something for a background you'll need a camera and you'll also need a subject i've chosen to use pom-poms but you can choose to use whatever you would like i have also written out little speech bubbles with what the pom-poms are going to say you might like to do this too i have now set up my scene and i'm ready to start filming I've put my camera up here pointing down towards the um, background so it's easy to take pictures without moving the camera. First thing you need to do is take an initial picture of your scene. So ooh, click, there we go. And now I'm going to add a speech bubble to one of my pom-poms so they can begin to talk to each other. So we get that blue one, he's got something to say. Oh no. There we go. Once you've added something to your scene, take a picture and add something else. So I'm going to get this orange one over here. He's going to respond to the Mr. Blue. Now that you've added something else, take another picture. You might also like to take something away. So the blue guy might be finished talking. So we'll take away the hello and we'll take another picture. Click. Then our friend in the pink might have something to say, so we'll add her in. There we go. And guess what? We take another picture. So that's how to do the speech bubbles. Um, just remember that when you add or take something away that you need to take a picture. I'm going to add a little time lapse of me finishing it off and I'll jump back in when there's something else that you need to know. So now I'm up to the part where I'm moving around the pom-poms and it's the same deal when you, whenever you move a pom-pom, you take a picture. Um, you can move as many pom-poms as, as you want at a time, but just as soon as you move it, take a picture. I've added my final speech bubble and I've got to take my final picture. Ooh, there we go. And now it is time to edit it. Yay! Okay, so I've begun the editing process of my stop motion video. I've used iMovie, which is available on iPads and all those sort of things. Um, if you don't have any Apple products, don't worry. You can also use um, Movie Windows Movie Maker, which is also a really good software. Um, what you need to do is add all your pictures in, make sure that they're in order, and then you need to adjust the amount of time that the picture is playing for. I recommend selecting all of the pictures and adjusting them at the same time so each picture is playing for the same amount of time. All of my pictures are playing for 0 0.7 seconds which re works really well for my movie. 
your movie might work better if there's a longer duration or if it's a shorter movie. Um, to make it, to adjust it, just make the number higher for a longer movie and the number lower for a shorter movie. Once you've finished adjusting the duration, you might want to add some music. So just go into audio or if you're on Windows Movie Maker, go insert and insert some music. I think that mine works better without music just because there's a few pom-poms um, doing some talking. So it is a little bit distracting to have music in my movie, but you're more than welcome to insert it in yours. Once you've finished your movie and you're happy with how it's looking and you're ready to save it and share it with your friends, come up into the top right hand corner, hit this little button here and you want to save it as a file and it's called my movie so I'm going to hit next and I'm going to save it. And here we are, your very own movie. I just wanted to add that if you are using Windows Movie Maker, you do the same thing by hitting the button in the top right hand corner, but you will want to press export and select the file that you would like to save it as. And here is the movie. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and that I've inspired you to create your own movies. Um, yeah, you can do whatever you want with your movie. Um, be as creative as you can be. I hope that you all stay healthy and that you stay blessed and that you know that we're all praying for you. Um, yeah, see you later. Bye!